Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be making a start on the player base and getting it ready for our gameplay mechanics that we're going to be adding in later on in the series. Having said that we're going to be importing some more assets we're going to be using, fixing up the collision on the base and getting it looking good and that is going to be the end of our level design for this section of the series. So if you haven't already, make sure you've got the latest version of the project files, they are available on the website. Within here, within your mech combat folder and your meshes folder, you should also have a decorations folder. Within here, we've got a bunch of assets that we're gonna be using to fill our player base with. So we've got some textures, some 3D models and all of that good stuff. So we need to import this into the engine. So go into your mech combat folder, go to meshes, and then in here, right click and add a new folder called decorations. Open this up, and then what we're gonna do with our windows folder with all of our decorations, select all of these, and then just simply drag, drop, and place them into your content browser. Give it a couple of seconds, and it's going to start importing it just the way that you want it to. So as usual, make sure your settings are all the same as mine and then make sure import materials is turned on and then just press import all and you are gonna get all of your assets coming into your engine. Now what you are gonna need to do is for each one of the assets that you want to use, you are gonna have to set up the material for it as it's not going to do it correctly. And that's just due to the way that the assets are set up. But the textures are there, the materials are there, you just need to hook up the texture sample. So starting off with our player base, we are gonna have a workbench in here that the player is going to be able to use to upgrade their mech. Now this workbench is actually part of the forest environment. So if you go into that folder, all the way down to the bottom, you should be able to find a workbench. And then all you're doing is just dragging it in, dropping it into our scene, just like that. And then what we're gonna be doing is rotating it so that it is facing the gates just like that. If you wanna make it a little bit bigger, you can, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to copy my level design 100%. Um, it's just sort of a rough guide of what I'm doing and you guys can use your own creativity, it's entirely up to you. Because we're working in a small area here, you'll have noticed I just turned my camera speed down so that I can get around a little bit easier rather than just flying through all the walls and stuff. So I've got my bench in the center, it's time to start adding in some decorations. So if we go into our decorations folder, there is all sorts of things that we can put in here. We've got everything from crates to barrels to bottles and some tools and all sorts. So what I'm going to do is start off with the crate of grenades. So what I'm going to do is open up my crate of grenades material here. Within here, if I move this along, you can see we've got this none parameter. Delete that, grab the crate of grenades texture sample, hold down T and left click to add a texture sample and then just use the selected asset and hook this up to our base color. If we then go ahead and press apply, what it's gonna do is apply those changes to the original materials and its use within the world. And what you'll notice in just a second, you can see this crate here, it is now something that we can use. So we can put this crate into our scene. And you can put a couple of these in here, it's entirely up to you. The way that you decorate this scene, like I said, it's entirely up to you, so you can do what you want. So that's just one of the items that I'm going to use. What I'm also going to do is add in one of these little diesel engines, just a spare part, just chuck it down. So once again, open up the material, deleting the, null, uh, the none parameter, and then we've got the different textures here. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to use this one. Press T and then with it selected, you can see it's added that into the texture sample. Hook it up to your base color because that's all you need and then just hit apply. Give it a couple of seconds and then in our content browser, you can see we've now got our diesel engine 
and it will be getting color just like that and we can chuck it in there. So all I want you guys to do is just fill up your little player base with various little assets. There is loads and loads of different items in here. Have a little experiment around with those. You know, experiment with the placing, the size. Um, there is absolutely tons you can do. You've got items that you can also put on the table. So you've got things like bottles, you've got things like spark plugs, spools of wire, all sorts. Just create these materials just in the way that I showed you and just place them around. So the last one I'm going to do is this spool of wire. So I'm going to open up the material. Once again, make sure that is blank. Grab the texture which is here and then hold down T, left click and drop it in and I'm just going to place one of those on the table so it looks like our workbench is actually a workbench because it's got stuff on there. So you can see here I can now go and get this spool of wire, drop it on the workbench just like that. So fill up your scene, do what you got to do, it is entirely up to you but you have got the assets and the knowledge to do that now. Now the other thing that I wanted to do with our player base is if you notice when I press play and then try and walk into it you are going to notice you have got some collision issues you are not able to walk through this gate. What you do need to do is go into your forest environment, open up your yard walls and then within here you need to remove the collision that is on there at the moment and then if you go to collision an auto convex collision, turn all of these settings all the way up and generate new collision for this. Hit apply, give it a couple of seconds, it's going to generate some collision and this collision is just going to be built around the geometry so instead of trying to fill that little gap in between it's only going to fill the areas where the geometry is and you're going to be able to walk through it just the way that you want to. What we also need to add into our level is the gates as well and we're going to be doing that in just a second. So we're going to leave this to run and add that geometry. What we're also going to do is get these gates. We need two of these, so one and two. Now what we're not going to worry about for now is actually making them move. That is going to be a video of its own. We've got some animations that we're going to be setting up for that but for now all I'm going to be doing is just rotating these and placing them in an open position so that we can easily get into our play area for playtesting purposes. If we check on our yard walls, we should be able to see that by now, if I go and show my collision, I should be able to do what I need to do. So show collision, simple, there shouldn't be anything there, complex, there should be, and that should be based on the geometry. If I go ahead and press play, run over to the walls, I should be able to walk straight through and it's all good. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to do for the environment for now. There is still going to be a polishing phase where we're going to be adjusting the lighting, the post-processing and all of that good stuff, but have a little play around with it. Add more trees in, rocks, bushes, flowers, do what you gotta do and do the same for your base as well. Set up those assets, introduce them into your little work area and later on in the series we're going to be adding in the functionality to allow the player to upgrade their mech once we've implemented that. Also what I wanted to mention before we go any further with the series is you are more than likely going to have some black lines in your scene and a little message in the top left hand corner that says lighting needs to be built. Having said that, go ahead and build your lighting by going to the little drop down arrow next to build and then build your lighting. If you want to save time, make sure your lighting quality is set to preview. But build your lighting, those lines are going to go away the error message in the top left hand corner is going to go away. But for now, that's everything and in the next video, we're going to get started working on our mech character and all of that good stuff. Thanks for watching guys, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.